Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how to make a print-on-demand website using Wix. For those of you that have never heard of Wix before, it's actually an online website building platform that allows you to create websites for anything from personal websites to e-commerce stores. I'm also happy to announce that Wix has partnered with me for this video, which I was actually so happy about because I've used Wix so much in the past. I've probably used them more than any other website building platform. I've used it during my university days when I was making like portfolios for classes. I used it for making a portfolio for my previous UX career. And I've even used it just for fun, for like blogging and stuff. So I've had a lot of experience with it. So of course I thought it was only natural to say yes to their partnership and work with them because I already support them. I already love their product. And I actually didn't know that you could use them for e-commerce before. I guess I'd never looked into it, but they let me know that you can. So once I heard that, I knew I had to try my hand at a print on demand store on Wix. So in this video, I'll be showing you a complete tutorial of how to start your own print on demand store with Wix from start to finish. I'll go over setting up your account, picking a domain name, setting up your store, importing products and everything in between. And of course, this tutorial could be used for any online store, not just print on demand. So if you want to do drop shipping or even your own products that you're going to ship yourself, this still applies. So if you're interested in any of the above, definitely make sure to watch this video to the end. If you want to start your store with me, then make sure to click the link in my description bar and you can follow along all the steps with me so that by the end of this video, you also have your own store up and running. That being said, let's get into this video and start building our store. But before I get into the store, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more print on demand and online e-commerce content coming from me and give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys like what you see and want to see more of this kind of content. Okay, so for the first step, just like any other website, you have to actually create an account and sign up. So all you have to do is use an email address and you're good to go. Click get started on the Wix homepage. Once you sign up with your email address and create a password, it actually takes you to this page that lets you get a better understanding of what business you're gonna be starting. So first you let them know what kind of website you're creating. There's some options right here, but I actually typed in my own and ended up going with e-commerce store as that was one of the options. Next, it asks you what features you'd like on your website, so it has an idea of what kind of templates and plan to offer you. Then you just have to answer a few other questions so they have a better understanding of what your store will be and you'll be all set to go. And what I love about Wix is that they actually have 80 plus fully customizable online store templates for you to use already. So if you're a beginner, you don't have to think too much and you can just pick from one of these and then customize it however you like. Here I'm just browsing the options for e-commerce shop templates. It took me a while to actually pick one because I'm so indecisive, but I went through almost all of them and I ended up going with this one right here. I thought it looked really good for my style of store and I'm going to show you guys in the next clip what it looks like. So the second step is to create your own e-commerce or print-on-demand brand. This means we have to choose our brand name and what we want to call our store. So they actually have a business name generator that I'm going to try out right now. I do have a slight idea of what I want to call my store, but I'm open to the options that they suggest, so we'll see what I come up with. So the first word I typed in was just travel because I had an idea around this word, but I want to see what they would give me first. These are the options they came up with. I looked through them, but I didn't find any that I liked more than my original idea, which was the travel diaries. So here I'm looking up that exact sentence to see if I can add anything to it. After looking over it for a bit, I still preferred my travel diaries, but this is a great option if you're starting at zero and don't know what to name your business because it gives you a lot of good ideas. Once you've come up with a great business name, you can use the Wix logo generator to make a logo for your business. So let's see how this works right now. So we're in the Wix logo maker and I decide to create a logo for myself. So to start designing my logo, I have to enter my brand name, which is the travel diaries. I skipped adding a tagline, but you can definitely do that. Next, you have to let them know what your logo is for, how you want your logo to look and feel by selecting a few of these adjectives, and then you have to select what pictures of logos you like so they know your style and what to give you. They ask you a few more questions before presenting you with some customized logos. 
So here are the logos they designed for me. I'm just going through them quickly here because there were so many to choose from, like the templates, I couldn't decide, but eventually I landed on this one. Once you choose your logo, you can customize it even further by adding different colors, fonts, images, and shapes. Here's the final logo I went with. The third step is to add your products. So this is where the fun part comes in. You can upload physical or digital products just like any other site and you can choose how you want to sell them, whether you want to do drop shipping, print on demand like I'll be doing, or ship them out of your own house. So in order to do print on demand with Wix, you have to download a print on demand fulfillment app by going into the app section here. I just typed in Printful because that is the one I started recently using and they have it available here for you to add to your site. Here you just click add to your site and it will have access to all those different things. This will take you to the Printful signing page and make sure you have an account or create one at that time. Then we'll go into the products that they offer and I already know that I want to sell posters right now. So I'll add one of the poster designs and then I'll add the image that I want to upload to it. I'll show you guys a Printful tutorial in another video. I'm just quickly going over the uploading process here, but not in too much detail because I want to focus on just designing the website today. But as you can see here, I'm adding the image, the product title. You get to select from a lot of mock-up images, which I really like. Add the rest of the description and change the pricing and you're all set to go. So here you can see it has already imported into my Wix site as the first product there. Let's click into it and see how it looks. I love it! The first thing I'll do to customize my own store is to change the name to my own store name which is the Travel Diaries. All you have to do is click on it and you can edit it. Next, I'm going to change this background. So you want to press change column background and you can either select from all of the images they have there that you can use for free or upload your own to make it a little more customizable and personal. Next, I'm moving on to these sections, which I actually like, so I'm going to keep them. Um, but below that, we do have a few images that would obviously look better if they were my own. So I'm just going to click on the image and click Manage Media, where I will add my own images to my gallery. So I'm uploading some of my own photography here, and it's allowing me to add them to that gallery and move them around. So this image is actually a photo gallery and not just one still image. So that's why I have the option to change them into multiple different ones. But the next one I'll be working on is just one still image. So I just picked an image that I liked and put it in there because I thought it embodied the tropical collection pretty well. Now I'm just going to change the rest of the standard images that came with the website so that it better represents my store and people can see the artwork that I'll be selling. Now I'm moving on to the next part of the website. Here there was this hashtag that said poster gal, but I'm just going to put my store name there. I thought it was a cute little touch. And I just deleted this photo gallery banner because I didn't want too much on the front page and I thought that I had enough already. Next, I'll be going over all of the text that was already there and changing that. All you have to do is double click it and write whatever you want. Of course, you can always change the size, the type of font, and the alignment, everything else, color, but I like the font, I like the size, I just want to change what it said. I actually went back to the top of the page and changed the background to one of my images or my mock-ups with my art print on the wall because I thought it was more fitting, so I thought I'd show you guys that quickly. In case you guys didn't already realize, everything is super customizable, so I'm just changing the background color of this banner I had here just to work better with the picture I just uploaded. Now that I'm happy with the front page, I'm going to go into my product page and change a few things in there. So right now there's some automatic products that are standard with this theme. I'm going to go in and delete all of those except for the one I added, which was my aloe vera succulent print. Now I'm going into my about us page where I'm just going to give a brief description of my store. And obviously this doesn't really look like it would fit with my store. So I changed the image here with one of the backgrounds they offer. And then I'm going to go ahead and customize that paragraph as well as change the background color all the same way as I did on the front page. The last page I'll be working on is the contact page. This one is super important for having a store so people can actually contact you if they need any questions answered. So they already have a standard contact form which I thought was pretty nice, but I just moved things around to my liking and this is what it looked like. 
So now I'm just previewing my store as a customer would and I'm really happy with everything. Everything looks great, super professional and I didn't really have to do much because the theme already came with everything to set me up for success. I just added my own personal touches and it became my own. Once you add the products, make sure to choose your shipping solution. Here you can set the regions that you ship to and calculate how much the shipping will come for each of those regions. You can also offer a flat rate for shipping and even free shipping, which I always recommend. It's been proven that people are more inclined to buy your products if you have free shipping on your website. So obviously you'll have to compensate the shipping costs somehow. So usually people just add a little bit of extra to the product cost and people don't care because as long as they have free shipping, they're happy and they're willing to pay a little bit more for the product. So here's how to set up your shipping. In the settings section of your dashboard, you can choose the shipping and fulfillment section. In the top right, you can add a new region. I already have Canada and international set up automatically. I might add US later on, but that could also be international. So that's all you have to do and always click free shipping. I think that's the best option and definitely will increase your sales. So make sure that's relevant. And with the free shipping option, you don't have to add any other prices and you're set to go. So the fourth step is to set up your sales tax. They have a great tool for this. All you have to do is enter your business location and they have a tool called Avalara Tax Tool that will handle the rest for you. Here's how to do it. In your dashboard, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says set up store tax. Here, click the automate your tax on the right hand side and that's when the Avalara sales tool will come in handy. First, you have to create an account and then it will automatically set up your taxes for you. So as you can see, my sales tax was set up to Canada, which is accurate, and that's all finished. Step five, we have to connect a secure payment provider. Let me show you how that's done. In the dashboard, you can set up your payment provider through one of the first steps listed there. Click Stripe and go to create an account. This will allow you to take all major credit and debit cards, so it will allow you to have the most options. Once you create an account with Stripe, it'll take you back to your Wix site and set accepting payments, so you're ready to start selling. You can also connect PayPal or manual payments. Step number six is to choose a Wix business and e-commerce plan. So in order to accept online payments, you do have to register for one of these plans, but they do have some options so you can choose the one that works best for you. These are the three business plans available. As you can see, all of the options between the three here. I think they're all really great options, but it just depends what type of store you want to create. There's also additional features for each plan, but I ended up going with the business VIP plan. Step number seven, get a branded domain. So this part's already easy because at this point you already have a business name. So all you have to do is make sure your domain isn't already taken. And if it is, try to tweak it a little bit to make sure it's still true to your brand and quite similar to your brand. But the great part is that a custom domain is actually included in every annual Wix business and e-commerce plan. So that's one less thing you have to pay for. And a lot of other sites actually do make you still pay for the domain name, even if you have a plan with them. So this is a really great option. And I actually thought it was pretty cool that they include that in their plans. So this domain prompt will actually automatically show up once you choose a business e-commerce plan. So they want you to pick a domain for free right away. Here I'm trying the travel diaries to see if it's available. Unfortunately, it was taken, so I had to go to my next best option, which was the travel diary shop. Luckily, that one was not taken, so of course I made sure to get it right away. You can also change your domain or add a different one in your dashboard under the settings and domain connected. In the top right corner, you can add an existing domain if you want to transfer one or buy a new one. So step number eight is to make sure your store is mobile friendly. As you know, everyone is always on their phones these days and so many people online shop on their phones. I still haven't really gotten behind that because I like to do it on a laptop, but so many people do it, so you gotta make sure you're catering to everybody's needs. In order to see your mobile version of your store, go to the top right preview section. Then you'll see in the left corner, there's actually a mobile screen and that's where you can see it. So here I'm just going through all the pages and seeing what looks good and what doesn't so that I know what I have to adjust. Some of the images are actually a little bit off in this section, so I'm glad I checked because it would have looked unprofessional if I left it like this. The way you can adjust this is to go back to the editor and it'll actually keep it on the mobile screen and it's easy to change the layout to make sure it works. So the final step is to publish your store. So now you've had everything ready, do a quick review, make sure everything looks good and once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click the publish button and you're ready to start selling. 
once you take one final preview of your store and check all the different pages and are happy with everything you see like I am here, you can officially hit the publish button in the top right corner. This will make your store available to the public, so make sure you're ready because now everyone else can see it too. And just before I end this video, a quick tip I have for you guys is to actually download the Wix mobile app. This app allows you to manage your store on the go from your phone. So if you need to make any quick updates, add new products or check anything when you're not at home or when you're not on a laptop, then this does it for you. So it's pretty much like having your store on your phone. So that was the video. I hope you guys like it. I actually loved how my online store looked and I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and if you're going to start your own Wix store too. If you're interested in opening an online store with Wix too, then definitely be sure to check out the link in my description box. It'll take you right to the Wix website and you'll be ready to get started. But thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.